What's up guys? I'm a firm believer that you don't always have to spend a ton of money to make a difference in your home. In this case, the biggest change is simply consistency. Check out all the different styles and colors of doorknobs in my front hallway, all of which you can see in one field of vision. By simply changing the knobs to one color and style, this space will have a more cohesive and complete look. I'm going to be installing these simple black handles to give a more modern look. Out of the box, you will typically have three components. The doorknob lever assembly, the latching mechanism, and the strike plate, along with the associated hardware. So, the first step is to remove the old doorknob. This is done simply by unscrewing the two mounting screws on the back of the existing knob. Once that's complete, the doorknob assembly should separate and allow you to remove the latching mechanism from the door. In this case, you might notice the latching mechanism is a drive-in collar type and not a screw-down faceplate. What this means is I will have to remove the faceplate from the new latching mechanism. This is done by inserting a flathead screwdriver into the gap and prying the faceplate off. Now I can insert the collar The last part of the disassembly is to remove the old strike plate which will be replaced. This is screwed directly into the door casing using two wood screws. Okay, so now it's time for the install. This process is pretty much the same as the uninstall just in reverse order. First we'll put on the new black strike plate using the provided wood screws. Next, we will slide the latching mechanism back into the door, making sure that the rounded part of the latch faces towards the strike plate. Then, take the outside handle with the spindle on it and put it into position in the doorknob hole, making sure the spindle goes through the insert of the latching mechanism like so. The inside portion of the handle which has the mounting screw holes can then be inserted in the correct orientation, making sure that the spindle is seated within the handle. Finally, we can take the mounting screws and tighten the whole doorknob to the door. I like to start threading the screws by hand just so I can hold the whole doorknob assembly together and make sure it doesn't fall on the floor. If your new assembly is a handle rather than a knob like mine, it gets a bit awkward because the handle gets in the way of the screw hole, so you'll have to pull the handle back to access it. Once the mounting screws are close to being tight, you'll want to straighten out the handle and tighten the screws to lock the handle in its final position. And there you have it. I just repeated the process for all the interior handles in my front hall to complete the look. Changing the handles does not take a lot of time or money, but it really makes a big difference for the overall feel, mainly because it's a little bit more modern, but more importantly, it's consistent. You won't regret trying this at home for yourself.